everyone, I'm Deanna Corby with Deanna Corby Dressage. I'm a dressage trainer, instructor, competition judge, and USDF bronze medalist. Thanks so much for joining me today. And if it is your first day here, welcome to my equestrian YouTube channel where I release new content every Tuesday and Thursday, mainly focusing on horse training tips, rider position tips, and product reviews. If you remember, a couple of uh, weeks ago, I did a trailer loading training giveaway. And today we're going to be using the horse that won that giveaway. But first, let me introduce my two friends, Chuck and Suzanne Green. Hello, I'm Suzanne and this is my husband Chuck Green. Uh, we are the owners of Fishing Creek Warm Blood. Uh, we offer training, uh, breeding, and we also sell uh, our foals. Um, we are the proud owners of two stallions, uh, Donner Meyer and Donner Son. So these guys are located in Fort Lawn, South Carolina, and we've been friends for a long, long time. They are really fantastic trainers, very responsible breeders, and their stallions are fantastic. I'm going to put up a few pictures of their stallions so that you guys can check them out. If you're at all interested in breeding your horse to their stallions, I'll also be sure to put their contact information in the description section below this video. So we're going to go ahead and get started with the winner of the trailer loading training, Percy here. He is a Lipizzan and uh, we're going to get this, give this a go and uh, begin our groundwork so that we can start teaching him all about the trailer and how it's a really nice and an inviting place to be and it's not a scary thing. So we're going to go out to the arena now. Let's give it a go. Chuck's getting Percy to move his shoulders, so that way he has control of his shoulders. Getting him to move his hindquarters, that way he understands to move the hindquarters away from Chuck instead of turning his hind end to him. Safety first. Increase the confidence, what you want to see is the horse not to be fearful of the motion of the string and the sound of the string hitting the ground. So Chuck will stop slapping the ground when Percy stops moving his feet. Alright, so trailer loading was a success. Percy was great. 
Just a little history, Percy is a nine-year-old Lipizzan, and he is a rescued gelding. He's had kind of an interesting life, but uh, he really hasn't had any big trailer-loading uh, drama or bad experiences. He just wouldn't feel very comfortable and very safe and very willing to load onto the trailer. So when his owner needed to go somewhere, she had to allot for a lot of time to get there and she needed a helper. Now, after this experience, the owner is going to be able to plan for less time to load the horse and she can technically do it by herself. So I'm going to let Chuck tell you guys, Chuck and Suzanne, tell you guys what exactly went happened with what you saw. So as you saw um, in the very beginning, uh, Percy did not have any interest in going into the trailer. So what Chuck did was he made the wrong thing difficult and the right thing easy. So in the end result, working him on the outside of the trailer was a lot more difficult then going into the trailer, which ended up being his rest area. So that was the right thing. Also, uh, this needs to be repeated for, you know, at least four or five more days in a row to make sure uh, <clears throat> he stays that in his mind. What you want to do is go out there and do groundwork and don't even pay the trailer no attention and let him run by it. And when he runs towards it, let the rope go and go in there and let him feel like it's his ideal. And when it's his idea, he'll get used to it and start liking the trailer. And when you do that every day for five or six days in a row, you want it where you head toward your trailer and he drags you to the trailer and gets right in. And you got an hour, 30 minutes, whatever you want to put the butt bar up and everything. And then it <clears throat> makes it pleasurable for him to be in there. Absolutely. I think Chuck did a really great job at telling the horse that the trailer is a safe welcoming environment and if he wanted to get off the trailer then he had to go back to work and I'm sure if uh, you guys know anything about horses their favorite thing is to sit there and do nothing and eat and get fat. So <laughs> uh, Percy's new favorite thing is to sit in the trailer and do nothing and relax which is great for us because now his owner can put him on the trailer and it's a relaxing place We've kind of changed his mindset about uh, trailering, about being in the trailer. It's no longer a stressful place. And um, you, I think you could tell in the video that, um, you know, you saw Percy relax when he was in the trailer. We didn't even have him tied up or didn't have the butt bar hooked on, the doors closed, but he was totally relaxed once he was in the trailer. He learned that the trailer is a safe place to be. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any interest in learning more about trailer loading or the services that Chuck and Suzanne Green have to offer here at Fishing Creek Warm Bloods, be sure to look below this video in the description section and you'll find all of the information. Thanks again for joining me today, guys. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!